Piers here, CEO and founder of Moblox. Well, I've just been going through the awesome statements and trying to make sense of it all. It's quite a quite a lot of information. Inflation is at 11.1%. It's the so high since 1981. It looks like over the next two years, we're going to see a 7% reduction in real household incomes, which is quite a hit. Um, the Chancellor's found £55 billion, uh, between tax rises and spending cuts as well. Although what's quite interesting is that a lot of the spending cuts are pushed out past the next election, probably two thirds of them, and the tax rise is kicking you know, straight away. So that's uh, so the thing about um, not increasing thresholds is that due to high prices and the inflation is that people are going to be pulled into paying more tax because they're earning more money uh, or asset prices are increasing. So there was a bit of a stealth taxation built in there, but it's a difficult balance between trying to you know, make the balance of books and uh, get the economy back on track as well without too deep uh, doom and gloom style austerity. So what impacts business? So fat threshold is going to be stay 85k. So again, if prices are going up, if you're charging more, you're going to find yourself potentially pulled into that, which, you know, is, is more process, but it's time, it's admin. So you remember to think about how you automate that, and how you reduce that burden as well. National insurance contributions, a threshold's frozen as well. Uh, but again, as you're paying people more money, you may see that uh, people and companies are paying more tax as well. The basic and higher rate thresholds of income tax have stayed the same. The 45p rate thresholds come down from 150k to 125k. So again, thresholds are frozen. You're earning more money. More people are going to be pushed into them. The government's going to raise more taxation. Big one, and they call it unearned income. But if you're a small business, you probably often pay yourself via dividends. So the dividend tax-free allowance been reduced from 2k to 1k next year, and it's going to be reduced down to 500 pounds the following year as well. So that's going to make quite a difference in terms of how much tax you are going to be paying. Capital gains tax depends if that impacts you as well. The tax-free allowance has been cut to 6k, and again it's going to go down to 3k. So depends what assets you are investing in or whether they're rising. A lot of assets aren't doing that right now. So Capital gains may not be the biggest issue. The R&D tax credit regime has been overhauled. I need to go look into that in, into more detail. We may look at putting an article on Moblox about that as well. And if you like electric cars, it looks like you're going to be paying road tax, but the company car tax rate is going to remain lower than it is with um, petrol diesel cars as well. So pension, not really business, but pension triple lock is stuck in place. Um, that's a promise they made to... Um, those paying with pensions. So I think they're probably stuck to that. And energy, which impacts us all. Part of the driver of the inflation has been the rising energy prices. Uh, Long-term thing, but the government's going to be building a new uh, nuclear power plant in Sizewell. It's going to um, provide energy for 6 million homes. But the big one is, and again, it seems to be taking some time for these things to happen, is they want to, they're going to create a task force, energy task force, to try and help households and businesses actually buildings and um, I think industrial premises as well, reduce the energy cost by 15% by 2030. So that's welcome, but these things need to happen faster. Uh, it's a good news on infrastructure that the investment's been protected. Again, the cost of building infrastructure is going to go up as well. So the real number in reality may actually be lower. The big one, if you've got premises and business rates, is that buildings are going to be revalued and there's going to be a process and that's going to cause a potentially a huge increase in costs for people with businesses and uh, premises, especially shops, for example, retail, hospitality. So there's going to be some kind of tax cut. I wasn't entirely sure what that meant, uh, but there's going to be some transitional relief as well. But the issue with those schemes is there's always people that fall through the cracks. So the chance of things that the budget's going to reduce inflationary pressure, that hopefully this means that interest rates won't go up and that means that recession may not be as long as it was initially thought that it might be. There's 3.3 billion going to NHS, although again, in terms of the real increase uh, against the cost, given the public sector pay increase, etc., I'm not entirely sure that's as much as the NHS really needs. And that impacts us all, no matter whether you're a business or not. But hopefully, um, this will reduce the, well, it'll keep the markets from freaking out. So we didn't want any more surprises. So there are no big surprises in here. Hopefully this will, you know, reduce the pressure um, and hopefully reduce the length of a recession. But again, there's a lot of hidden sort of stealth tax in here. And, uh, you know, they do have to sort of massage and PR these announcements. So the reality is, is that the taxation increases are going to kick in far faster 
than the, the spending cuts as well. So let's see what happens. Um, that's it for now. Don't forget to move to Moblox.